Um, let's see another type of ring too, uh, using polar array. It's like a duplicate multiple times along a circle. So we could just use a simple torus, zero. Uh, I won't put any measurement here, just so you get the concept. And then we'll do a simple box on the top. And we could go from center. And here, uh, we could press Alt so it doesn't snap. And we could draw a box uh, like that. That goes up a little bit. Move it into place. So I want this to be yeah, roughly here. That's good. Um, so now there's a comment. See our cube is here. Could make it maybe a hair wider. Press Alt to cancel or snap. Yeah, I think that's a bit better. And here's the comment. Use the font view usually to use it because it's view dependent. Array polar. Polar means angle. Center of the array zero. How many items? I have no idea. Let's try 10. And 360, yes, enter. And now we can see. So if we want more, we can go here, item, and we can go 12. Or even more, 14. And uh, actually, I kind of like 12. Enter. So now we've got this. Uh, not very interesting. But what I wanted to do with this was actually cutting. So now I can go Boolean difference and subtract from is this, enter and width, it's all of those. As long as they touch, they will cut. Enter. So now I will cut this. We could do some simple fillet edge here, but I just wanted to show you the just the principle of this. Or you could add uh, that will be Boolean union. They will be part of it. Um, there's many many things you can do with just that simple technique. Uh, so using this technique now, we'll do a more complex ring. So first, I'll go rectangle center around it from the top view so zero enter and here i hold shift so i'm square uh, and a little bit of fillet just like this then i'll go ci for circle zero still in the top view hold shift and that's going to be a stone holder now i want to move this up in the front view so somewhere here and now i'll do extrude curve but this is a new command it's called extrude curve two point that means it doesn't extrude but to a single point a tapered one we want solid to be yes and here we can just type zero so we go to zero now we've got the extrude we don't really need the curve so i could just delete or hide them those one voila and now we can use that technique we just learned. Um, so array polar, enter, center zero. How many copy? I don't know, 12 maybe, enter. 12 is not enough, so I'll go maybe 18. Still not enough, 20, that's better, enter. So now we have this shape. Now I need some post here to hold the stone, so what I could do, let's go line, zero. Press Alt so it doesn't snap. And um, then I need this to be here on the edge. So if you really want to do it well, you need two, one here and one here, but I'll, I'll simplify it. And here I want this to go to the side. So I'll go here 
and move this with the blue just a little bit so it's between between those two maybe a bit closer like that escape then I want to give this thickness so I can go pipe there's a command called pipe and he wants to know the first diameter on the bottom here I could just type 0.1 and not sure maybe 0.25 enter that looks pretty a bit too thick actually but we'll keep it like this uh, now if you 3d print this there's nothing hold it so we could put a in theory this should be touching this but it doesn't so we could put uh, maybe a torus there or something like this I can go torus zero and stop somewhere there and uh, there so it's in the ring but still not touching so I have to move this a little bit Let's do it on this view. Pressing Alt, now it's touching. So now I would hold everything. And I made a copy with Alt. Voila. It's not super pretty, but it will hold everything. Uh, I could actually mirror that Taurus, I can find it here, MI, zero, and hold shift. Then here, MI, zero, zero, hold shift, like this, select both, and do the exact same array polar. So center zero, copy exactly the same 20. Now we can draw a big cylinder to do our cutout. So zero, press alt to cancel the snap, maybe here, and then here make it longer and move it. And then now we can do Boolean Difference, select everything, deselect the cylinder, enter, and select the cylinder. And if you were doing a rendering with this, uh, you could also do a fillet edge, a tiny one, maybe 0.1 or even less than that. Perfect. So we'll get the filler edge. And remember in 3D print, you could easily uh, do this. And it would work. Huh? You could print them like this. Voila.